Hey y'all, this is Casey from Pizzazz. I want to share with you today um, a verse that is uh, doing a lot in my life and um, showing its power in my life, and that's Philippians 4, verse 8. Now, my favorite verse of all times is um, Philippians 4, 6, and 7, which basically says, you know, don't worry, but to pray. So don't be anxious about anything, but to pray. But our mind has a uh, has trouble just simply not worrying. Our brain's got to think about something. So I love in the very next verse, Philippians um, 4 verse 8, it tells you what to, to what to think about. If you're not going to worry, if you are praying, what is that mind going to focus on? And this says, um, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, lovely, commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And I've read that verse um, tons of times, and it hasn't um, sunk deep like it has uh, this week. I did a little Bible journal with it because I love doing Bible journaling. I'll show you my page, and I'll share. Um, if, you are if you're looking at this video on my blog, I will share... Uh, a post on you know the different things that I use for this. So if you want to do this, you can. But um, I was doing the Bible journal and I, I was you know putting down what is true, what is noble, what is excellent. And I was reminded that I did a, a life coach type thing about a year ago. Not me being a life coach. I got business. It was really business coaching. And one of the first things that they did is they wanted to get your mind in the right place. And so they would go over these exercises of, um, you know, who are you at your best self? And I had to list everything, everything from the way I felt, the way I stood, the way I interacted with people at my best, who am I? You know, I'm an encourager. I'm an inspirer. I like standing and moving and um, I'm my best uh, with groups of people and um, different things like that. So I had to list them all out and they wanted me to read over those several times a day just to get that in my head of what is my best self. And over time that really did help my thinking. And what I realized when I was reading these verses is that is the same, that God's given us the same advice <laughs> that we pay big bucks for, um, for coaches to tell us. And basically, you know, it's to, to train that brain. Think about these things, whatever is true. And you see, whenever I was listing out me at my best self, that was the truth of who, you know, who I was. Not, not, not necessarily who I am always because, you know, my, sometimes my brain wants to focus on my inadequacies and the things that I don't always do great. And, and while that is true too, that is not, um, that's not where, that's not where my focus is, and that's not where I want to grow. I want to focus on the things that I want to grow. And so um, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, those are the things that I want to think about. And so um, I just encourage you with this verse, if you will just take some time to do the same exercise I did with my business coach and just list out what is the truth about who you are. Like, what does God tell you? He tells you he loves you. He tells you you are his child. He's got a plan for you. There are so many voices from this world that tells you the opposite of that, that tell you you're not good, that you're a failure, that, oh, it doesn't look like there's any plan for me. There's no hope for me. I'm going down this path and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Um, there's all kind of those voices or, you know, who do you really think you are? You've got big dreams, but mm, you're, you're just kind of a dreamer. You're not really, any, you know, and there's all those things in your head and um, you've got to train your brain to get that out and to think on what is true, honorable, just. And um, so I just encourage you to make a list and read over it and read over it and read over it of what is truth. And another little quick thing that I want to share with you that I was just I love doing this Bible journaling because what it does is it brings the Word to life and it makes me see in my own life how I can spread it to other people. So I'm going to tell you this quick story from our studio this week. I had a little girl come in because I teach after school art classes and she had been crying, I could tell. And then as she sat there doing her drawing, she was just, just you know, weeping to herself. And I said, you know, come on, we're going to the back. Let's just kind of have a chit chat. And she went to the back and she, oh, it just breaks my heart. She just cried and cried and cried over just a mean girl at school, just not including her and um, forming a little club and not letting her come and things like that. And this precious student of mine was just crying. And I immediately thought of this verse because I had just Bible journaled it. And I said, look here, sweetheart. And I showed her this and she just looked over and said, this Bible tells us not to think on these lies that this girl is telling you, that you're not cool, you're not good enough, you're not part of being in the club. No. What is true? You, again, you are a child of God. You are beautiful. You are talented. You are smart. You are funny. What she's saying is not truth, so do not let it come into this mind. Do not let her or, you know, these lies 
you keep on thinking about that. And when your brain keeps thinking about that, that, that is causing this sadness. Um, you know, whatever is honorable. Is this chick honorable? No, she's not being honorable right now. So she doesn't deserve to be in your mind. Is she, you know, is she lovely? <laughs> no. So we just went over this. And as we went over these words and just basically just read the scripture to her, I just saw her face lift. The tears went away. She stood up a little bit taller. She shook her head. Yes, yes. She read the word and she was okay. Now, I don't, you know, she went out there and she laughed. We went back to art class and she, she laughed and she had fun. And um, I literally saw the scripture just breathe life into her. And I'm so honored that I was even in the place and in the frame of mind um, to have recalled that verse. And I would not have done that if I was not spending time in the Word, if I had not just seen that this morning and or that morning and um, spent time with it and thought about it and prayed about it and journaled it in my Bible. So um, I was really encouraged just to see just to see how that word brought life to somebody else and um, and how Bible journaling and spending time in this word and rewriting it how, or doing stickers or whatever you've got to do helps to solidify it for my own life, but also for me to pour out into others. And so, um, so that is just my little encouragement to you today. If you will um, take what you will, uh, whether it's just pondering over that verse, making your own list of truths, whether it's training that brain um, or just pouring this into somebody else. So anyway, I will, uh, I will attach how to do this Bible journaling and I hope y'all have a great week.